it's Tuesday. I figured why not vlog. <laughs> the, my vlogs are never planned. They're just like, hey, I think I have some things to do today. Why not invite you guys into my space for the day? So that's what we're doing today. Um, I don't have... I have things that need to be done. I have a couple of meetings. Um, I um, ha I'm going live today on Instagram because it is Tuesday. I have a phone call with a potential management. Don't think it's going to work out, but I'm always willing to hear. Anytime someone from management reaches out and says, hey, we're interested. Can we sit and chit chat? I mean, the least I could do is give them a phone call. Um, I don't think it'll work out right because I just don't. I don't think I'm at a point now where I want management I don't want one person or one company to have that much control over my influencing space but I'll hear them out we'll see what they say um and then I have a phone call with a local business here who's thinking about carrying fearless jewelry wholesale so um not that you know I'm a little busy but not a lot <laughs> um I also yesterday and I'll show you guys today before I leave or sometime today I redid my closet not redid I just I officially switched out all of my winter stuff um, and put in brought in all of my spring and summer so I'll show you guys kind of like what I did how I reorganized that um I'm also on a cleanse or on a food fast so I'm not I haven't eaten any food yesterday and then I'm not eating any today I was going to do 72 hours but I got scheduled for my COVID vaccination um, at doctor's request. So that is happening tomorrow. And so I don't think I want to go in there with an empty stomach. So that's what's happening today. Weather's gorgeous. I think me and husband are going to go for a walk. He's also cleansing with me. It was, I forced him. Well, not really forced because he kind of like enjoys it. But he was like, last day he was like, we can't have no popcorn or nothing. No, we cannot chew. For the next two days there's no chewing involved <laughs> so um that's the last day for us today i think that's it i am going into the office today because i that's where i'm going to take most of my meetings i actually have a 10 30 9 to 5 call um so i kind of want to take all of these meetings they're like back to back it's like 10 30 12 1 and then i go live at 2. Um, so I kind of like to take those meetings in the office it's a different space i can't show you the space yet because it shows all the my other businesses that I'm it shows the inventory for the other things I'm trying to launch but but I can show you the corner that I'm going to be sitting in so take you guys with me don't worry I am going to do a office reveal for you guys um is that it let me stop laughing so yeah I'm going to finish getting ready um throw on my shirt and then head to the office it's 9 45 right now so hopefully I can get to the office um right at 10 30 for my nine to five calls so let's just Let's wrap this up and get started. All right, so let me cut this down. We don't want copyright. Um, just finished up my finance call at seven. Jesus, last seven. Why am I saying seven? It's my favorite number. Anyway, it's 11.53. I've got seven minutes until this potential management meet phone call. They're doing Google Teams, I think. Um, I want to say it's Google Teams. Yeah, they're going doing Google Teams, and so they said, "Hey, you're welcome to um, do a video call. If not, we understand. I'm not doing a video call. <laughs> I don't because my I don't I haven't met with them, and I don't want my face to say something that my mouth has not said." So I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my emails. We get, I'm on a couple of these like influencer marketing platforms. Um, and so there's one that came up. I'm not going to state the brand or the influencer marketing website, but the deliverables are one Instagram feed post, one Instagram reel, one Instagram story, which is like three to five frames um, and provide two high resolution images and one high resolution video for the brand to use. Do you want to know what they're paying you? A thousand dollars. It's laughable. It's laughable. Okay, so yeah, that that actually sounds um, kind of in line with what because I have taken um, other management, um, just like general phone calls. I have not. I do not currently have management. I have not ever had management, and um, I don't know. 
I'm also starting, I have a jewelry business and then I'm also starting a couple of other things. So I am trying to see if I'm at a point to where, hey, because I am trying to commit to starting these other businesses, can I eventually give up this, you know, the things like contract negotiation and sending invoices. And so um, that is definitely something that I am looking into do this year, just especially because I am starting additional businesses this year and just don't know if I'm going to have the time to do all the admin work that it takes. Um, and just generally, like I, I've pitched before, that's how um, I get my collaborations. I'm pitching and sending things to um, potential customers or clients. And so it does get a little taxing. Um, I'm also in the situation where I am very uh, type A. So I have a hard time letting things go. And that's where, that's been my, um, uh, restraint is like, hey, I think I need management, but I kind of don't want to give away all of this stuff. Like, I don't want to have to give away all. You see, what I mean? so it's kind of it's a it's a balance that I'm trying to have to decide: am I ready for that this year, or am I going to be type A and hold on to it for another year? Okay, so that management fee. Let's just say, for example, my rate for the deliverables for the brand is ten thousand dollars. Do you try to negotiate the contract 10,000 plus your 20% or is it 10,000 and then from your 10,000, we take out our 20%. How does that work with your negotiation process? All right, so it was actually a very productive phone call. Like, I might be getting management. I don't know, we'll see. Like I said, I am going to talk it over with um, my husband just because I just like to. I just feel that when you're involving people into your business, I kind of want to involve him. So I kind of going to give him a lay of the land. Um, yeah, it's 10 after and I haven't gotten a phone call. So I'm not taking it. Because um, I just believe, especially as a business, if you tell me one o'clock, you should be calling me at one o'clock, 105 at the latest. Um, so I won't be taking the phone call. So I am just going to prep for this Instagram live that I have at two. done for the day headed back to the house i'm gonna go take a long walk with husband i think and then start finishing i'm doing a blog post to coincide with my skincare video that came out thursday if you want the link i'll link it the thursday skincare video up here and if you want the blog post i'll link it down here just some of my favorite skincare stuff skincare favorites for like all budgets so i need to finish that up um back of the house but i'm tired so i'm gonna go home all right so i am back home and totally forgot i was supposed to give you guys an update on the tour of my claw office i i said i didn't do a lot but i did i actually ended up um it started out with me folding my laundry and then me looking at the forecast and was like oh my god it's gonna be 70 and 80 degrees and then from that i then proceeded to switch out my entire wardrobe to my spring and summer um wardrobe and then took all of my sweaters and boots and stuff like that and put them back and then put them in the garage in their storage so let me just show you guys the weight i don't think much has changed but i did do a little bit of some things so let me turn you guys around all right so not much has changed over here over there that's been pretty much stayed the same i've got my ball caps jewelry shoes only difference is that instead of there being boots or like I think there's always been like flats i've also got some sandals in there and then my tripod um over here the only thing that i've changed is that there used to be a mirror here i took that mirror away because it wasn't doing anything for me and so i just have that like centered i've got that little stool i think i'm going to do a snake plant because i think that needs a little bit more light snake plant can sit over there just fine and then over here, this is my dirty hamper. I actually had to take that out of the closet and you guys will see in a second. And so I kind of wanted something that wasn't too gaudy and didn't stick out. I thought that I had measured it perfectly. Clearly I did not. So if I find one slimmer, I'm gonna give that one away. 
<laughs> so that's what's going on here you guys know this is the mirror that goes with the closet and so in here i don't think you guys have ever seen the closet in here what i did was i added a this is a shelf that i got a shelving unit i got from ikea and in here is housing a little bit of everything i've got my pajamas am i the only one that hangs pajamas anyway my four pajamas and then some blazers and then i've got like one or two coats over there these are some pants that i wear but not too frequently um my workout gear although that might go downstairs because i have a ton of more workout gear already down there this was just kind of stuff that i can like get fast like quickly grab but then i realized if i quickly grab this stuff i'll never grab the bottom stuff so i think that whole shelf is might be going out and then that is these two bottom ones i have my hair stuff i'm not really sure what to do here so this is just open shelving um and then up there is just some hair stuff and then my shampoo so that's what's sitting here because my hair stuff used to sit on this shelf that was in the closet so this and this used to be in here but i took that out because that's not really appealing to the eyes however this is decent and that's decent so that's why i had that kind of like pulled out so that's what's going on over there and then these are just different um what do you call it sets that i have like loungewear sets that i have kind of been wearing so that's what we're looking like up here i'm pretty sure all of these sets were on my loungewear especially like the be kind my loungewear video i will link that of course my skincare fridge stays there and over here is just like my rack shot this is all of the stuff well i got in a bunch of stuff in the mail so that's why you have all these tags and stuff on it i haven't tried it on yet so i have all of their bags are sitting back there so that once i try this stuff on if it fits i'll throw the bags away i'll take the tags off but if not i want to be able to put them back in their tags and send that shit right back where it came from <laughs> to get my money back um not much has changed over here i've decided to keep this pillow because i literally can't find that saying anywhere else i have even tried to amazon every moment matters pillow nothing anyway so that's just going to be there um tv ncis always um and then i don't think we've changed much over here except for we have taken out um the boots we have taken out the winter stuff we have taken out the sweaters and we have put in summer stuff we have my gucci slides that i just got in the mail a couple of weeks ago that i'm obsessed over i'm ready to wear out um up there are some sweatshirts that i still reach for however i ordered some amazon bins um that are on the way so i'll link those below if you got if you want to get them they're kind of like canvas so i kind of don't like i don't like that that's showing so i want to put them in canvas bins and then put them up there to have it like nice and cohesive um what else and then also over here this is the one thing that probably has changed the most so this used to be jackets or like blazers at the top and then pants at the bottom well i wanted a place to be able to put all of my long skirts and then dresses up so i basically took that shelving and moved it down it was about right here i moved it down it was easy i wish i had gotten everything like all of these shelving because it's so easy to manipulate it's so easy to move around um so i basically moved that shelf from up there to down there the way i was able to hang all of my dresses um and then i've got some sneakers here and then i've just got just some individual joggers basically um pants that don't have like matching tops so that's what is sitting right there and then i do have these pair of boots they're like the um doc martin dupes that i have kept around for the summer because i've saw some instagram or pinterest inspirations that i kind of want to mimic so that's what's going on over here and then nothing has changed over here my hat wall still the same so i don't think we're going for a walk until like 4 or 4 30. um i'm actually about to start back reading this book this is america i just started it yesterday the goal is to have it read by the end of the week it's tuesday um so if i'm reading about 80 pages a day which i read like 85 yesterday um then i have it read by friday so yeah i'll link it here this is my america it's so far so good like it's fully enthralled if you want a page turner este this is it so yeah i'm gonna be reading this until 
we decided to go out and take a walk. We thought about taking the dog, but I don't feel like being pulled for three miles. So we're gonna leave them here. We're out here as a couple walking. I have on regular sunglasses to protect myself from the sun. Somebody has on just glasses. It's like no sun protection. Somebody had to be cool and put their shades on. I'm being cool because do you not see the sun? I needed it. I'm gonna run with a little vitamin D. Anyway, so we're walking. I don't really know how many miles we're doing. I have a limit of three, and then I'm done. Do you know what route we're taking? Out, out. I got a route. No, you're not. Navigation is not your best asset. This is a house that we go by every single time we walk. It's old. Resuming workout. I don't think anybody lives here. I really want them to put this house up on the market so that I can buy it. Pausing workout. William, it's actually not that bad in here. There's books in here. Resuming workout. The columns, guys. Pausing workout. This is the house that I want to buy and renovate. Resuming workout. It's less than a mile from where we're at. Pausing we are. workout. Can you guys imagine the possibilities of this house? Picture it painted white, black shutters with the stucco. We've got a balcony up there that looks like a room. There's like a sunroom off over there. William, we need to find somebody to look into this house. Resuming workout. It's not for sale. Somebody owns it and does not want to sell it. At least not yet. What? Nobody's lived in this place. Pausing workout. Why not? I'm going to see if I can't find some. It's some kind of Mercedes. I see the, I see the emblem from here. And see, they even have like a, a little outhouse. I think that's maybe like a garage and a. Something on top. We could finish that. That could be our mother-in-law suite. That's a hundred thousand dollars alone. All right, so guys, we're back. I went ahead and hopped in the shower really quick. I didn't wash my face yet. Don't feel like it. Um, and then I've just been reading my book, guys. This book, I just started reading it yesterday. It is so good. I am on page one hundred and eighty-five. There are only. Three hundred and eighty-seven pages, so I am almost halfway through with this book, and there is no doubt that I'm going to finish it um, before the end of the week. So um, we're not doing much for the rest of the day. I've got my smoothie that I need to finish, so I have to finish this one. I'm about a little more than halfway through, and then I have to. Let's see what else in there because I had them lined up. I have to do this um, apple, mango, banana, cold pressed juice, and then water, and then I'm done for the day. Um, we also had to reschedule our COVID vaccination. I signed up and I got my email confirmation just fine. And then when I went to sign up, um, William, for some reason, he never got his email reminder and so when he called them today it found out that they never got it and i think it was because for mine i couldn't remember my um let me put you guys down because um this phone is heavy 
Um, so I think it was at the beginning um, when I did mine, I didn't know my inf insurance information. So I just said, I don't have insurance um, and I was just gonna fill it in later. Um, but for his, I put his insurance in. So I don't know if they were trying to verify his insurance before they verified his, his appointment. Either way it goes, it got moved until next Monday. So we're going next Monday. Um, so I guess I'll be cleansing for another day tomorrow. It has been a struggle. I can definitely tell the difference. I feel like I've had more clarity today. Like I've had a lot of stuff going on. I've had meetings and I'm trying to respond to emails. And um, me and William even talked about the management thing that I think I am actually want to take them up on their trial run only because it's a trial run. And that's the first I've had like eight or nine different management people reach out to me. They're the first one that was like, let's do a trial run to see if we even like each other. So the game I'm going to take them up on their trial run. So I just had a lot of stuff going on today, but I didn't feel like overly busy. And I feel like maybe the cleanse is providing a little bit of clarity that I wouldn't ordinarily have. So, I mean, we'll see. Um, definitely going to finish out today and then we'll just see where I am tomorrow. I train tomorrow. So, although I trained Monday and didn't have an issue, it's actually, I actually felt really good after my training session. So, we shall see. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog because <laughs> I'm literally about to go downstairs and watch shows until we get tired and then come back up and do a half-assed version of my skincare routine and go to bed. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, today's vlog. I don't think I have anything to link below. If I do, I will link it for you. Um, yeah, so if you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so more videos from Moa will pop up. Also, don't forget, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe. Truly appreciate the love. Truly appreciate the support. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye, Dios.